Hi, I'm Mike. Pseudo spring has hit the ranch and we're expecting some temperatures in the 50s and 60s over the next couple of days. And that gives us a chance to do some spring cleaning for the project list on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Behind me is the project list, an ever-filling board of things that need to get done around the ranch. Every Tuesday, we tackle a few items off the list and bring you along. If this is your first time here, subscribe and join us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. There's a lot going on around the ranch this time of year and not enough hours in the day to get it all done. Tomorrow, we'll be taking our first load of steers off the ranch to processing and bringing back the pork that we took over a couple weeks ago. In addition, calving is starting to ramp up. We've now had three heifers that have calved and one surprise calf born out with the cows that we'll talk about in just a little bit. Spring cleaning around here is a group effort and we got our start yesterday evening after the kids got home from school. A new chore that the kids have this year is picking up the net wrap that comes off the bales that we feed to the cows. Grace, who is four years old, and Mackenzie, who is seven, both get to it as I help clean up the shop with them. They load it all into the tractor bucket and we take it over to the incinerator for burning. Both Aaron and I love it when the weather starts to turn just a little bit warmer and getting the kids involved in what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is not only free labor for us, but also a great experience for them as well. Running a ranch is very much a family affair. Everybody gets involved. And as the kids get older, we hope to see them doing more and more. Hey, Daddy, we need to light the fire. Not all the net wrap is gonna fit in the incinerator, but we can burn what we can. Afterwards, the kids get to sweeping. This morning, I can get right back to it. The weather is still getting warmer for us. Today, we're expecting a high in the 50s and cleaning the shop is the first project after getting everybody fed and watered. The shop sometimes becomes cluttered with way too much trash. Feed bags that get thrown to the side when we're filling up cake feeders or feeding the steers. With the help of the tractor bucket again, we can start hauling more paper trash out to the incinerator and get it fired up again. Also in the shop, we have a bunch of last year's pumpkins to do something with before they start to rot. And off to the chickens they can go, loading them up in the bucket as well. Now here's a development that was surprising. Net wrap is a petroleum based product. And apparently the net wrap that we didn't get into the incinerator last night when the girls were loading it was a bit too close to the incinerator and got too hot, bursting into flames outside of the incinerator. Luckily, it's kept far away from anything flammable and we don't burn when there's a high wind or when we aren't home, so we caught it pretty quick. No harm in letting it burn for a while, as long as there's somebody here to watch it. And once the net wrap is gone, we can douse the ashes with a hose. Never a dull moment though. Off to dump off the pumpkins to the chickens. And since we're over here, we're gonna check the heifers. We have three calves on the ground from the heifers and none of the expected moms look like they're in labor yet today. Calving starts slow and ramps up quickly. And most of these girls are due any day now. Checking them every few hours is the safest way to make sure all the calves are healthy and moms are not having any trouble with labor or taking care of their calves. Out with the cows is another surprise, however. This morning, a new little calf was born to one of our cows a couple weeks ahead of schedule. The calf is healthy, but if you were around when we were branding last year, we found that we had a neighbor's bull in with the cows when we brought them in to sort off for branding. This little one might be from that brief encounter. With the appearance of this little guy, there's a chance that we're gonna have more and checking the cows as well as the heifers is added to our rounds. shop, we can continue with our cleaning project. With calving heating up, we're going to need a clean shop to bring any calves that we have trouble with into. We'll have our calf warmer in here as well as most of our medical supplies, so cleaning it up now just makes sense. If we had a hired hand, 
this job would be a job for them. But unfortunately, things are a little bit tight around here with having to buy hay last year, and a hired hand might have to wait for a while. We also bring in an extra freezer for all the meat that's gonna arrive tomorrow, and we'll get that set up as well. As I roll up this extension cord, I'm reminded of a story that I wanted to share with you. A few weeks ago, I got an email from an older rancher asking why we do this, why we make videos, and why put them on YouTube. I think he said something along the lines of, it seems to me like you're teaching a bunch of city slickers how to be ranchers, and they don't need to know how to do that. Well, I answered him back, explaining about giving people a chance to live the ranch life and learn where food comes from and the work that goes into it. Plus, we were city slickers not that long ago ourselves. But as I roll up this extension cord, I'm reminded of something that happened to me when I was a little kid that might explain it even further. The question, why we do this? My dad was a cowboy. He worked as a ranch hand on many different ranches after I was born up to about my sixth birthday. He suffered a stroke then and was no longer able to do the work, but one of my first memories was helping my dad at a ranch that he worked at. I don't know where my dad was at the time, but the ranch owner, a guy named Fred, saw me rolling up an extension cord and I was making a mess of it. He told me I must not have any cowboy in me because I wasn't rolling the cord up like you would a rope, flipping it and turning it and keeping it straight. I was having a heck of a time with the thing. I looked up to my dad like nothing else. I was his little cowboy. But I remember at that moment when he told me that I didn't know how to do it like a cowboy, I figured, well, I guess I won't be a cowboy. I might have wanted to be a cowboy at that point. Of course, I might have wanted to be an astronaut too. Oddly enough, I ended up here much later in life, and my mom says I ended up having my dad's dream job. But I wonder if Fred hadn't told me that I wasn't a cowboy then when I was five years old, maybe I would have followed in my dad's footsteps long before I ended up here. Part of what we want to convey on our channel is the belief that you can do anything you want and be whoever you want to be. If you don't know how to roll up an extension cord like a rope, you can learn. A few years ago, I never would have pictured myself here and Aaron and I are learning every single day, just like today, that net wrap can be flammable and has a low ignition point. We hope that you continue with us on the ranch. As calving gets going, we're going to bring you as much as we can from the calving process, and I'm sure there are going to be some exciting days coming up. I've got a bunch more to get done today, so I'm going to cut you loose. Thanks for hanging out for a few minutes with me and listening to me ramble. Be sure to subscribe and explore the ranch life with us. Find us on Facebook as well for updates that you can't find anywhere else. We'll be back on Thursday. Aaron's going to be out in the garden planting in the high tunnel. And we also have a live stream Thursday night for you at 7 p.m. A chance to hang out with us in real time, ask some questions, and learn even more. Until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming Life.